Hi there. Now in this question, we're given this diagram that shows the triangle ABC with AC being 14 centimetres and BC being 10 centimetres and the angle ABC being 63 degrees. And what we've got to do is first of all find the angle CAB and then go on to find the length of AB. So as usual, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then. Let's see how you got on. So with part one, what we're going to need to do here is to apply the sine rule. I'm assuming that you're familiar with the sine rule, where we basically compare the sine of an angle with its opposite side. So with this one, if we've got to work out angle CAB, let's just label angle CAB, which is this one, theta. Then what we've got is that the sine of angle theta compared with or divided with the side opposite it, which is 10, is exactly the same as comparing the sine of 63 degrees with its opposite side, which is the 14 centimetres. OK, so all we need to do now is to multiply both sides by 10. So you therefore end up with sine theta equals 10 times the sine of 63 degrees, all divided by 14. Now, if you work this out in your calculator, remember to work in degrees mode. If you do that, you should find you end up with 0 0.6364 and so on. Now, all we need to do to get theta is to take the inverse sine of both sides. So theta equals the inverse sine of 0 0.6364 and so on. OK. And if you do that, you'll find that you end up with 39.526 and so on degrees. And if we round this to, say, three significant figures, it's going to be 39.5 degrees, OK, to three significant figures, 3SF. OK, well, that's the first part. And for the second part, we'll just border that off there we've got to find the length of AB. So you might like to pause the video at this stage and now return back to this part of the problem. So I'll just give you a moment to do that. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now to do this, if we're to find the length AB, I could use the sign rule not that I appear to know this angle at the moment, but because we've got these two angles, I could work out this angle and then use the sine rule by comparing this side with the sine of this angle and then picking off, say, either this angle with the 10 or the 63 degrees with the 14. Or if I know this angle, because I know two sides, and the opposite angle to the side I'm trying to find, I could use the cosine rule. So I've got two ways that I could do this, and I will run through both ways for you. But whatever method we pick, we've got to work out this angle up here. So I'll call it alpha, OK? And to work out alpha, it's going to be 180 degrees minus the sum of 63 degrees plus the angle theta, which we've just worked out. So if you do 63 plus 39.526, take it away from 180 degrees, you should find you end up with 77.473 and so on degrees. OK, so that's our angle alpha. So if we're to use the sine rule, I'm going to take the side AB, OK, and compare that now with the sine of the opposite angle, which will be alpha, the sine of alpha. We'll just leave it as alpha, OK, knowing that it's that angle there. And that would equal another side. I'm going to take the 14 
okay but you could equally take the 10 and then divide it in my case by the sine of 63 degrees if you took the 10 it'll be divided by the sine of theta sine of this angle here okay all I need to do now to get AB is multiply both sides then by sine alpha. So AB would be equal to 14 divided by the sine of 63 degrees and then that would be multiplied by the sine of alpha. I'll just put alpha in at this stage. Alpha being the 77.473 and so on degrees. Okay. Now if you work that out in your calculator, make sure you're in degrees mode, you should find you get 15.338 and so on. And if we round this to three significant figures, it's going to be 15.3 centimetres to 3SF, three significant figures. Now I did say you could do this by the cosine rule, so I'll give you that method, okay? So I'll put all there, and by the cosine rule, we would have this side squared, AB squared in other words, is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, so that's 14 squared plus 10 squared, and then we subtract twice the product of these two sides. So that's in other words 2 times 14 times 10 and then it's times the cosine of the angle opposite the side we're trying to find. So that's the cosine of alpha. I'll put alpha back in then as 77.473 and so on degrees. Now if you work that out in your calculator you'll find that AB squared comes to 235.268 and so on. And to get AB, all we need to do is take the square root of 235.268. And if you do that, you end up with 15.338 and so on. And rounding that to three significant figures gives us the same answer, obviously, as before, 15.3 centimetres then to three significant figures. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea if you had any problems on that particular question. And if you got it right, that's excellent. Well done.